All right, welcome everybody. Shane Carter here with Eddie Austin from Hampshire Capital, and we are going to run you through our newest uh, investment offering, uh, which is Villas del Zocalo, 206 units in Dallas, Texas. Beautiful asset. This is our, uh, what's that? Sorry, I ran right over the top of you there. Yeah, this is a beautiful asset that's not far from a property we already own, just 13, 15 miles up the road. That's right. So here's a little bit about the investment offering disclosure. Go ahead and, and click pause on the video if you want to read through this. Just standard legal stuff we have to put in here. Uh, here's the agenda. Here's what we'll be going through in the, um, in the offering today. And uh, starts off with a sponsor overview. So we at Hampshire Capital have over 50 years of collective experience in buying and operating multifamily app, uh, properties throughout the country. Um, we, uh, we, you can see a, a listing of some of our assets there. The one Eddie just referred to is at the bottom, landing at McCallum that we bought last year. Uh, so we're just shy of about uh, 2,000 units right now. Uh, and we'll be, you know, about, uh, about 2,200 units once we acquire Zocalo here that we're talking about today. So this is a little bit about me. I'm the uh, CEO of Hampshire Capital. I've uh, done about $305 million in multifamily uh, deals, another $110 million in development and construction. Uh, that's my, my background is really in uh, real estate development and construction. My business partner, Nick Bouquet, he's uh, been in multifamily uh, since 2007. Uh, he's done about 20 properties, about 3,500 units. Uh, he was mostly on the LIHTC or affordable side of the business. Uh, joined forces uh, with me a, a few years ago to start Hampshire Capital, uh, and we're, uh, we're off and running now. This guy right here you may know, Eddie Austin. He's our VP of Operations and Business here at Hampshire Capital. Uh, he's got about 18 years of experience in real estate, uh, business management, and entrepreneurship. Um, he's uh, also handles uh, the VP of Investor Relations here at, at Hampshire Capital. And is also part of our uh, co-fund manager on our newly released um, Hampshire uh, Multifamily Diversified Fund uh, that we'll be launching next month. Stay tuned for that webinar coming up soon, too. That's right. Uh, this is Sean Hedden, our construction manager. He's a Texas-based employee. Uh, he's got 15 years of uh, active uh, construction management, facility management experience. Uh, and he's just an absolute rock star. Amazing at what he does, uh, licensed plumber, uh, all the trades, HVAC, electrical, etc. cetera. Uh, he's, uh, he's just a wealth of knowledge, and he managed all of our day-to-day -day activities on site at all of our renovation projects in Texas. So here is the um, investment introduction. It's a 1984 asset, uh, 206 units, and it is in the Northwest Dallas Bachman neighborhood submarket. One of the top performing uh, submarkets in, in 23 for rent growth and occupancy. So we got this deal through one of our um, brokerage relationships with Northmark. Uh, we, we closed our last deal with them as well last year in Dallas. Uh, and we're so excited about being able to get this at, a, at an acquisition basis of just over $86,000 a unit, um, which is a, a huge discount to current market and replacement cost. Uh, and as you'll see coming up in future slides, uh, it's a it's a massive 30 plus percent discount to where properties were trading uh, just in the last six to 12 months. Upon acquisition, we are going to implement a, a strategic value add program. It's going to take about two and a half years. That's a pretty conservative estimate. So we have this as a three year hold period, uh, repositioning the property uh, with high, higher quality renters, um, improving curb appeal and uh, improving the average in place rents and net operating income by renovating units. So you can see the investment summary here. We're buying at 17.8, a little over 86,000 a unit. Total basis is about 23.5 with the CapEx, you know, interest, insurance reserves, tax escrows, et cetera. We're going to hold it for three years. We got a 27.3% IRR. 
which is really a function of that three-year time period, uh, time being a, an important metric in IRR, uh, which is over a 33% annualized return, going to get a 2x equity multiple in those three years, an average cash on cash yield of 5%, uh, with a 7.4% yield on cost. Important to note here as well is that our LP investors are going to get a 12% re preferred return. So even though the asset's only uh, yielding about a 5% cash on cash starting in the second quarter of ownership, we're still protecting our investors by not receiving the, the sponsors, not receiving a penny of cash flow or uh, any promote until our investors get to a 12% preferred interest rate hurdle and then having a 70-30 split thereafter. Uh, this is just a little bit more information about the asset, the address, um, and uh, average unit size, year built, 96 plus percent occupied, and the average in place rents under $900 a month. The slide's a little bit about the submarket. Um, location, you know, median household incomes, uh, you know, I question this data in terms of, uh, you know, getting for your BLS data updated from CoStar uh, and over the most inflationary time period we've seen here in the last, you know, 24 months. Um, but the three mile radius is certainly, you know, above average in terms of the MSA and our household income. So, this particular submarket has a 13.6% rent growth in the last uh, 12 months and currently has an average occupancy uh, of 94.4%, which we're, we're currently just above that. Um, so this sits right on Web Chapel Extension. It's a main thoroughfare that goes uh, through the submarket, highly visible, uh, and fantastic for our future marketing and leasing efforts. Uh, very close to the I-35 corridor, um, being able to get north-south in the DFW Metroplex. And also the, the area is surrounded by a lot of high-quality residential with average median home values that are $924,000. This is a very, very, uh, very nice neighborhood uh, that's, that's just um, to the east and north of us. Very limited construction supply. Um, there's only 722 units under construction within the three mile radius. Um, 422 of these are being built on the south side of Love Airport where we're on the north side. And the remaining 300 unit is in a different neighborhood um, in the Northwest Dallas submarket. So there's really nothing in our, in our one mile or in our neighborhood um, that's under construction. There's no units within two miles of the property under construction. And uh, because of that, we don't anticipate being subjected to the downside rent pressure from new apartment deliveries and the, all the concessions and supply uh, issues that, that, they can, um, that they can put on a submarket. So here's our investment thesis. We, we really, again, really like the acquisition basis. We're, we're just about a 10% discount to lower quality, older properties currently under contract in the submarket. We'll show you the details of that in a, in a future slide. Um, and we're, again, we're over 30% discount to sales comps in this neighborhood uh, within the last six to 12 months. So we really feel amazing about the uh, basis play here. Now the deferred maintenance rent upside. Uh, the current in-place rents are $215 or just below 20% below the comp average rents at renovated properties in our area, uh, which shows that we have substantial room to increase NOI uh, by doing strategic interior and exterior renovations, repositioning the property really to compete with the market and what our neighboring uh, rent comps are doing in terms of their uh, value add renovation programs. So there are 12 transactions in this neighborhood in 22, most of which have executed interior and exterior value added renovations and have already proven out higher rents in the submarket. So through well-maintained, although this property is well-maintained, it's underperforming due to dated unit interiors, exterior aesthetics, and a lack of modern amenities. So this, uh, this slide just shows us a, a general overview of our renovation and CapEx plan. So 
we're going to start renovations in month three, and we're only going to do about seven units a month. This is a very low um, uh, cadence or, or, or velocity of renovations, only 3.6% total, where we're expecting you know, a 5% vacancy rate. So we're not even going to renovate all of the units that turn over uh, on a monthly basis. So this projects that we'll complete renovations in month 31. Of course, we can expedite this and do it faster and achieve revenue growth uh, even faster than we're projecting in our model. But we feel like this is a very, very conservative cadence and velocity to be able to achieve uh, renovated rents on. Our yeah, I think with yep. that, you know, also we want to maintain occupancy with this business plan as well. So, you know, by doing this, we're going to be able to maintain occupancy and do renovations at the same time. That's exactly right, Eddie. Thank you for bringing that up. That's a, a key point is we really want to keep cash flow up. We want to keep occupancy up. We don't want to force any unnatural um, vacancy at the property in any way. So our average pro forma rent is, you know, about 1167 and uh, that gets us about $181 a month rent of premium. Um, our, our total budget for, for all CapEx is about four, a little over 14000 a unit. Uh, you know, about 8,000 of that is going to go on the interior program and, um, and our total ROI for the uh, total budget is about 23%. Now, if we did that analysis just based on the 8,000 a unit, obviously that 23% would, uh, would, would be about 40%. Um, but we, we like to be conservative and so we based it on the whole thing. So here's what our interior renovation scope looks like. We're going to resurface the counters, kitchens and baths. Put on new cabinet fronts and hardware, kitchens and baths, new vinyl plank flooring throughout, carpets in the bedrooms, only on the first floor, uh, new lighting fixtures throughout, new unit paint throughout, uh, new black stainless appliance packages, and new bathroom vanity and frame mirror. So this is an important slide. This shows us our rent comps, um, and they're broken out by unit type. So 11S, 11L, 11s, and 22s. And the important thing to note here is that you'll see that our pro forma rents here, right, $1,100 on 11s, is below the comp average currently of 1226. So we're $126 a month under the average in place uh, renovated rents at our neighboring properties. Same with the 11Ls. We're even bigger. We're, only, we're $137 a month under the in-place comp average rents. $133 under on the 11s and uh, $70 under on the 22s. So this is, again, important in that our pro forma rents are underwritten to be less than the average in-place rents at our comps and what they're currently achieving. These are those sales comps we referred to earlier. There's a list of each one of the assets that sold in our, in our neighborhood, the addresses. Now this is important to note. Here's the vintage, 68, 73, 1970, 63, 66. We're 1985 asset, 84 asset. Uh, it's the only one here, it really is, uh, you know, Spanish breeze, right? And that one traded at 116 a door, and we got ours at 86 a door. Um, and so the average sales comp is about 127 a door, which gives us about a 32.2% discount to what things were trading at, uh, you know, again, just six, 12 months ago. And here's a, some of the ones, again, that are currently under contract, and we're almost a 10% discount to those. Uh, and again, these are, you know, 10 to 20 years older than us, 1964. 1973 really feels like a great basis and that we're stepping into fantastic equity on this one. Ed, you want to run through the investment summary here? Absolutely. So, our, this, wow. All right. So, a simple investment summary 100K invested. As stated, this is a 2x multiple, 33.2% average annualized return. We are offering a 12% prep. And as you can see here that we have this advertised, that this is a 5% cash on cash. 
meaning we will accrue. We are going to start renovations on month three. And then the second quarter of ownership, we anticipate distributions at 5%. And we'll accrue the 12 all the way until 36 months. So $100,000 invested, 2x multiple, have 99,548 in profit. And again, we're doing a 12% preferred return for three years. It's a 27% IRR. That's right. So this is um, just going through our pro forma here on a three-year hold. <clears throat> Again, you can pause and, and, and study this. Um, we're, we're happy to provide it as well if folks want to you know, go through the Excel. I, I think some key things to note here is, you know, on this column here, you got the uh, you know, T3, T12 average. This is existing. This is what the, currently the property is doing, right? This is existing NOI, 891. Year one, our net effective rent is growing our effective gross income is growing, but not by much. You know, about a, about one hundred and thirty thousand dollars is about all we're expecting to grow. Whoops, and um, and our NOI again is is not you know not very much. It's about seventy five thousand dollars a year in NOI growth in our first year. Um, and so, obviously, we cover our debt service. We got great debt service coverage here, um, and we've got great cash flow <clears throat> coming off the asset, but. You know, again, unfortunately, this is only enough to pay about a 5% cash on cash. Now, as we go through and grow NOI, you can see that we really start getting some more aggressive NOI growths in year two and three. That's because that's when the renovation cadence and the revenue build really starts to hit and really starts to grow. Um, even though we are growing our expenses, um, you know, our total expenses obviously are growing on a year over year basis. It's really this, this revenue growth that's driving the NOI growth. Um, and so that's really where, you know, where this, this renovation and us being able to achieve uh, the renovations and the, and the rents that our neighboring properties are already achieving. Um, and again, the fact that our rent comps and our business plan projections are to come in under what they're already achieving. Uh, we feel like this is uh, sufficiently conservative uh, we're excited about this opportunity accordingly. Go ahead, Eddie, run them through the offering timeline here. Yeah, so on the offering timeline, subscriptions are due 1020. Allocations confirmed by 1024. Funds are due by 1027. And we are closing this thing up at 1031. We are at the closing table. On the contacts here, you can contact Shane Carter. You got his email here and his phone number. You have myself. Again, I am the VP of Investor Relations and the VP of Operations. Please reach out to me. Happy to schedule a call. Happy to run through this and answer any questions that you have. I have my email here and my phone number. And if you are ready to invest, we have our access to our portal right here in the link. Also in this webinar, there will be a link to the actual portal as well. You can jump straight in, run through the documents, and you'll be able to see the OM again, and then run right through it. We run InvestNext as our platform. Very easy to get through. And if you have any trouble at all, please do not hesitate, hesitate to reach out to me. And I am happy to walk you through it. That's right. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. We look forward to uh, seeing you in with us on this investment, and we'll talk soon. Appreciate it.